alaikum. My name is Maya. I'm going to be talking about my life in two weeks and how it affects my belief in Islam. This is what happened on Monday. Today was off to a bad start. Unfortunately, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, therefore becoming very angry. I hadn't slept well the day before, and so I hadn't gotten a lot of sleep. It was around 7.15, and I knew that if I hadn't gotten up right away, I was going to be late to school. I was so furious that I decided to let my anger inside of me all out. Without thinking, I went and picked on my sister, which led to a fine So, um, After a long time of arguing, I began to feel sorry for starting it. So I decided to go inside my room and calm down. I remember the day in Islamic Studies class when I was taught to control myself and avoid allowing the shaitan to take hold of me. I read an A of the Quran and in no time felt a lot better. Um, this is what happened on Tuesday. Um, I had like exams this week, so I started getting a little worried about it. So I thought that if I didn't study for these exams, I'm never going to pass and I'm going to fail. These words were constantly in my mind, haunting me. Although the topics were boring, we were learning about soil, erosion, weathering, stream systems, this grade would show my placement next year. Although I was studying today, whenever an hour passed by, I felt as if I never studied anything at all. When I moved on to a different topic, I forgot everything that I learned before. So I began to feel even more nervous. And so the day of the exam came. I decided to go first and pray my Fajr prayer so that Allah could help me pass the tests. I came to school worried and nervous. I thought that I was going to fail them because I didn't think that I had studied enough to earn me a good grade. When the teacher handed out the exams, I said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, and I began. It was very long and it covered everything that I took in the marking period. Yet, I thought I did well because Allah had helped me. The next day, I thought, if you don't pray on time, fast on the month of Ramadan, give to the poor, believe in the one and only God, and his messenger, Prophet Muhammad, I will never earn my place in heaven. These words began to haunt me again on Thursday, and ever since then, I never forgot them. They often reminded me about what will happen to me if I don't do those things. Whenever I think about where I might go in the afterlife, I don't think it's heaven. And so because of this, I promised myself that I will always do my prayers in time and follow what my parents told me to do to earn my place there. The next couple of days, I was able to teach my younger sister, Sarah, to read the Quran. By the time I was done, she was able to, to read Surah al nas and Surah al falaq I felt very happy about the fact that I was able to teach her and how she was able to memorize parts of the Quran. These days helped me to reach my conclusion, to reach my conclusion. Whenever I read Quran, prayed my other prayers, helped one of my siblings, I felt this close connection with Allah. I felt as if Allah was guiding me to the right path. Yet, when I did something that I was not supposed to do, I felt that I was farther from heaven. So, I knew that if I don't do what I'm supposed to do, I'll never get to heaven. And so, I promised myself even till now, to work hard in any way that I can to please Allah.